Every year, the tiny community of Dorset launches one of the biggest races for mayor, drawing in anyone or anything as the candidates. Reporter Mal Meyer caught up with some of the mayoral hopefuls for this week's Community Spotlight. Thousands of people have flocked to the unincorporated community of 20 to get a taste of Dorset. While they've come to grab a bite at the so-called restaurant capital of the world, they've also come to the event for the highly competitive mayoral race. One year we ran a chicken and the neighborhood dog killed the chicken before we could uh, have the election. This year, a horse named Salman Ed Skadberg launched a campaign for the position. We call him Ed the talking horse. Of course, that doesn't talk, but we don't worry about small details like that. Small details like proof of residency, age, or past experience are not required. People can throw in a name and $1 to increase the luck of the draw. Judy Cognetta voted for her friend Michelle Meyer, who adores the city. I would help improve our lake shores and help improve our lakes. The position carries little to no clout, but that doesn't mean the residents won't put up the mayor's ideas for consideration. He's such a great kid. I thought he'd do fabulous as a mayor. Bonnie Gottwald threw in her seven-year-old grandson's name. Will you be tough on crime? <laughs> Are you going to raise taxes? That's what everybody's dying to know. No. no. <laughs> it's time for the big event. But another seven-year-old was sad to be stepping down. Gwen here has had kind of a rough time today. She's upset that it's her last day as mayor. Gwen Davis of Salt Lake City, Utah, would be handing off the title and fringe benefits like coupons to use at the local stores. See what's the best part? Everything. In the end, it was none other than... Don L. Trump. Well, not quite. Rather, it was Monaga resident Teresa Walsh who claimed the title. I love eating here every Friday and Sunday and sometimes Tuesdays and Wednesdays. New to the political scene, Walsh says her first order of business is to try implementing Margarita Mondays. Where you could come between four and six and get them half price, but I don't own Campaneros or any of the restaurants, so we'd have to run it by them. A big shakeup to this little community. With this week's Community Spotlight in Dorset, I'm Mel Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.